guys, so today's video is going to be something a little bit different as you can tell by the title, it is my makeup bag secret weapons. Now, I was kind of excited by the concept of this video because I don't think I've ever seen anyone else do something too similar to it before. I'm probably not being original and probably someone has done it, but I'm excited about it being kind of different for me anyway. So basically I'm going to be talking about five products that I think are essential must-haves in every girl's makeup bag, but they're kind of all-time staples, so they don't really get spoken about a lot, and they also have like multi-uses, and they're basically just five of my favourite things that I think I use all the time, but I maybe just don't really talk about that much. So the first product is something that I actually talk about in relation to skincare quite a lot, but it is really multi-use, and I don't usually sing its praises enough. It is tea tree oil. This one is from The Body Shop, which is my favourite because it is fair trade and organic. Can never go wrong with that. It's really inexpensive, and this little pot will last you for absolutely ages. Not only can you use it on spots, but because it is a great natural antibacterial oil, you can actually use it to disinfect things as well. So one thing that my friend Tati taught me is if you put a few drops of this in a little spray bottle, you can actually use it as a facial spray that will prevent acne, but you can also use it to disinfect your makeup brushes too. And you can put a few drops into your shampoo when you use your shampoo in the morning to help if you have like an itchy or flaky scalp or if you have dandruff, it really just helps to soothe your scalp. If you have a little cut or a burn or a bug bite, you can pop it on and it will help to soothe it and also to make sure it doesn't get infected as well. And last but not least, if you want to use it as a bath oil, it works really well as a bath oil, especially if you're congested, but also if you have body acne, it can really help to kind of fight body acne. My second makeup bag saviour is something that I'm pretty sure everybody will either already own or will have owned at some point in their life because it is a total like makeup bag and life staple really and it's Vaseline. This is just the original lip therapy tin, the blue one, but you can also get like the flavoured ones, there's the aloe vera one which is my personal favourite, um, and the rose one which is tinted. Anyway, Vaseline, although obviously you can use it as a lip balm and it's great for adding like shine and moisturising your lips, it has so many uses and I feel like it doesn't get talked about in videos at all, but it really is something that you can use for so many different things. Obviously, along the same lines as using it on your lips, you can use it as a clear gloss for either your cheeks or your eyes. You can use it on top of lipstick to add a gloss to it. They actually sell like multi-use clear glosses. I know MAC sell one that is a lot more expensive than buying just a little pot of clear Vaseline. So if you are doing probably more editorial makeup, then that definitely comes in useful for that as well. If you're in a pinch, you can also use Vaseline to take your makeup off. You just take a little bit, massage it into, I start with my eyes, kind of like a cleansing balm, so massage it into your eyes and all over your face. It will help break down the makeup and then you can remove it with a hot, warm, a hot, warm, a damp, warm, flannel just like a cleansing balm. It's also great to use on your cuticles not only as a kind of moisturising cuticle treatment if you're on the go and you have it in your bag it works great for that but also when you're painting your nails you can pop a little bit of Vaseline around the edges of your nails just around here and then when you paint your nails if you get any varnish on the edges you can just wipe it off and you don't have to go back in with a cotton bud and a uh, nail varnish remover and try and get it off which is really really useful. So Vaseline is super multi-use and definitely a makeup bag saviour for me. So my third product I'm pretty sure everybody will own because it is hairspray. This is the Bumble and Bumble Classic Hairspray which I really love. I love the bottle as well because it's pink and orange which is amazing. Um, but you can use pretty much any hairspray. Obviously for keeping your hairstyle in place but it also works really well if you have a ladder in your tights and you want to stop it running even more, you can spray a little bit of hairspray on it. So it works great if you have a miniature one in your handbag, it's amazing for on the go. Another use for hairspray that a lot of people don't know about is actually getting rid of stains on your clothing. If you have especially biro or ballpoint pen stains, lipstick stains as well, it works really well on. You can spray the hairspray quite close to the material like this and really saturate the stain and then just kind of scrub it and scrub, 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 and then you can actually rinse it out with water and it will remove the stain, which is seriously amazing because the amount of times I've got pen marks on anything 
it just drives me crazy and you can wash it and it will kind of smudge a bit and won't properly come out. So hairspray is amazing for removing stains and you guys might know this already, you might not, but it's also really good for stopping static cling in your clothing. So if you have a slinky dress that is like really clinging to you, you can spray a little bit of hairspray on the inside and it will stop it clinging to your body. Um, so again, amazing thing to have like a, not this size, but a miniature size in your handbag is amazing. The next one is not a conventional beauty product, but it is sticky tape strips. Now these are the Scotch like pre-cut ones um, that just come out like this when you pull them. You can just use normal sticky tape, but for me, these ones definitely are a lot more convenient because they're pre-cut to just the perfect size and they don't have jaggedy edges or anything. What you can use these for is making sure that you get a perfect line on your eyeshadow. Now I know a lot of the time, especially if you have round eyes like me, if you're doing a smoky eye or something, it's quite easy to let the eyeshadow go too low. But if you have these, what you can do is just stick them to the back of your hand first and then pull them off or to your clothing and just help remove a bit of the sticky because you don't want it to pull at your skin. But then you can just place it along your lower lash line and up to where you want to place um, your eyeshadow like that. You can do your eyeshadow and then when it comes to putting on your mascara, you can just take it off and you'll have the perfect line and your eyeshadow won't have gone too low. Super useful, obviously. They're also amazing for wrapping presents as well, so around Christmas time they come in useful and I usually run out and have to buy another one. Last but not least, my final makeup bag secret weapon is olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil which, to be honest, is from my kitchen. We cook with this all the time, um, but it also has so many different uses in the beauty world. And you'll probably know of some of them, but I believe there are like, there's at least over 20 ways you can use olive oil um, in your beauty regime. I'm just gonna tell you about a few of them, about my favorite ways. The first one for me is for cleaning your makeup brushes. Um, a lot of makeup is oil-based and oil breaks down oil, so using olive oil on your brushes before you shampoo them just helps to break down all of the makeup especially if you have like white brushes that are stained what I like to do is put a little bit of olive oil in a pot and then really work my brushes into the oil first really kind of massage them in and then shampoo them and it will also help to condition your brushes as well as get rid of any stains and like really get rid of the makeup a lot easier than if you're using just a normal shampoo. I know they do sell like the kind of chemical brush cleansers but for me they are just for spot cleaning and every month or so I will um, deep clean all of my brushes um, and using olive oil so yeah really really good for that again you can also use olive oil as a cleanser if you're in a pinch it's actually really good for your skin so you can massage it in the same way that I said about Vaseline you can massage it into your makeup and then remove with a hot flannel and it just kind of melts all of your makeup away it's also amazing for your hair and for your skin so you can make DIY face masks and hair masks with it and again like Vaseline you can also use it to moisturize your cuticles Personally, I prefer using Vaseline for that because it's less um, liquidy, so it's a bit less messy to actually like rub into your fingers, but it works really well for that as well, and that is olive oil. So that is it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any products you think are makeup bag secret weapons that I didn't mention in this video because I would love to hear about more of these types of products because it's always super useful to know about them and all of their different uses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you again next time. Bye! It's a monthly favourites time again. I'm so excited about my monthly favourites this month. I know, obviously, every month it's your favourite.